The improved sentiment has been driven by a change in political leadership and a stronger performing currency. But the IMF report noted that growth prospects are still being weighed down by structural bottlenecks. It's conservatively realistic in the sense that we don't see a rapid enough response by the government to unblock the structural blockages that we all know exist in, in the South African economy. The energy policy is not yet clear. Um, ESCOM is struggling. There are other blockages in terms of water supply, in terms of urban infrastructure. The recovery is expected to be slow and drawn out. The IMF expects growth to stabilize around 1.8 percent between 2020 and 2023. Not good news for the millions of people who remain unemployed. Some of the areas like poverty alleviation, um, uh, elimination or containment of a structural unemployment, these are long-term issues. But you cannot talk about containing unemployment if you cannot deal with your education system. But there have been a few green shoots in recent months. The IMF noted a more stable currency. The rand rebounded by 10% since November last year, making it one of the best performing emerging market currencies. Business confidence is up and international investor sentiment is resurfacing. I think we've turned the tide. Um, inflation's low, consumer confidence is picking up. Um, we are recoupling back into global growth. So from a portfolio flows perspective, it, it, does look, it does look decent. The fund also noted improved fortunes for commodity exporting countries. Perfect timing as President Cyril Ramaphosa announced a five-year plan to get $100 billion invested in the economy. He also named a strong team to convince international investors. The right things are happening at the parastatals. The right things are at least happening in terms of looking at FDI. And I think the key factor is, is looking at what local businesses are doing and where they're investing. Direct investment from local companies, which was 20% of GDP in 2010, and gradually shifted to net negative 30% of GDP last year. That figure needs to seriously you know, make a turnaround. Policy implementation and structural reforms remain key priorities for growth in South Africa. But the recent change in political leadership has helped to lift confidence that these priorities will be attained. Sumitra Nadu, CGT in Johannesburg, South Africa.